But I'm Martin Frodsham, uh, formerly known as Frodo in the army after 18 years. I left the military through a uh, injury back in November and uh, I took advantage of the John Deere military hiring program that was launched in September. I've been employed with Eversham Talisa Moss Group uh, since December and I'm here now at Langer doing an air conditioning course. There is a quite a vast amount of skills that you do leave, uh, leave the army with. Um, one of them is just uh, being professional, uh, being in a timely fashion, turning up in the right kit at the right time, the right equipment, um, having that can-do attitude, which is you'll probably hear a lot from ex-service personnel, is that can-do attitude is uh, very key in this industry, especially. So the training style with the military is very precise, pamphlet-led and safety. Uh, obviously for obvious reasons such as the, the, the stuff we're dealing with can alter your life quite quickly um, but it, the style that we're learning today is very uh, different because it's more relaxed more engaging and um, you, you're getting told what you need to know and it's up to you to revise and retain that information and then put it into practice in the field. Have that exit plan, don't leave it till last minute. Um, have um, Always have contingency plans like a plan A, B and C, uh, like I did. I wanted to be uh, an estate manager, so I wanted to do land and estate management. That was too far out my grasp. Uh, through experience within the military and span of work and having that engineering background, I kind of fell into this job and it's um, kind of ex excelling here already because of my base engineering qualifications and knowledge. Uh, see, uh, I didn't really go as far as that, but um, I would advise everybody to start making arrangements for when you do leave the military so it's not just a big mind blown when you do leave. Yeah, so I have had a few people contact me. Uh, they've seen that I've left the army through injury. They see that I'm working for heavy agricultural machinery and they see that I'm capable and I'm coping. Um, that said, um, feel free to contact me at any time. Uh, anybody that's leaving the military wanting to get uh, into agriculture engineering, not just ag engineering, but sales, parts, um, etc. cetera. But um, yeah, just reach out and Another word of advice is just put yourself out there. It's go out there, be confident enough to approach these, approach these people, um, approach an angry farmer, and try and get that stick time, because I believe that's very beneficial to where I am today, is going through forces farming and getting that experience, that base knowledge and that stick time, where I can now uh, quite comfortably jump in any machinery and be able to shunt it around the yard, whatever. Um, yeah, go and get that experience. Well, um, being part of the John Deere Military Iron Programme, they uh, very much were first to a enterprise on it, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, what I'm also grateful for is being understandable of people's injuries and sto stories and people's walks of life. Uh, so <laughs> being 34 years old, I'm not just a young apprentice, there's a bit more about me. Um, again, a backstory, and um, what's benefited me is that they've took that risk, and they've enterprised on it, and they've done. I feel like they're evolving with this, and they are going to be doing very well out of it.